medication should do it. But uh, let me know if the fever doesn't subside. Okay. Yes, I, I will be here. So, it was a huge success, huh? It was. I looked for you at the finish line. I had to drive Bobby home. You're kidding. Her leg was that bad? I just didn't think it was wise for her to walk. She didn't tear a muscle, did she? No, it was dehydration. Her calf muscle had just seized up. Oh. Well, as long as it wasn't anything serious, then there's not a problem. I wouldn't go that far. What? We have a problem, Monica. That's very serious. You mean the situation with Bobby and Tony is serious? Bobby and Tony? You and me. You can't compare them to us. Why not? Wanting to be together, not knowing how to get there? Alan, they're separated. I know. And living under the same roof. Does that sound familiar to you? Look, I really... I don't think this is fair. I mean, I know that we have gone through some rough times lately. But I'm doing something about it. I called Owen Copeland. I want to discuss reconstructive surgery. I do. I made an appointment. I'm going to see him. I don't know what else I can do to let you know that I am ready and willing to take the next step. That wasn't the step I was hoping for. I thought that's what you want. No, Monica. That's what you want. What I want is to have my wife back. What I want is to be able to make love to you again, Monica. And what I want more than anything is for you to understand that if you elect to have reconstructive surgery, you're doing it for you, not for me. I understand that reconstructive surgery is my choice, but I've given it a lot of thought and I think that it can benefit both of us. You see, Monica, this is where you start to lose me. All this introspection and analysis about what's good for whom. I mean, I remember a time when we didn't have to tread on eggshells with each other, when our relationship was spontaneous, especially the physical part. My God, Monica, there was a time when I could just touch that certain part of your neck, or you would give me a look that would drive me so wild I'd go right up the wall. We'd be all over each other. How did we lose that, Monica? I want that back. It's just on temporary hold. Temporary? Need I remind you how long this has been going on? And it's not because I haven't tried. You don't get used to a new body overnight. I do? I don't. I hate it, Alan. And I can't believe that you could look at me and feel anything, anything but revulsion. I see. I can't count the number of times I've told you otherwise. Now, either you don't believe me or you don't trust me. That's not true. Oh, yes, it is. You're so worried about me rejecting you. Has it ever occurred to you, Monica, that I'm the one that's being rejected? How can you say that? Because from where I'm standing, Monica, that's exactly how it feels. The last thing in the world I want is to hurt you. Oh, Monica, there you are. Hello, Alan. Hello, Mother. Did you forget, dear, that you were going to help me cut the roses? No, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Let me just go get my gardening gloves. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Obviously, nothing very important. 